Hey there guys, so yeah, pretty interesting fight coming up early next month between Otterbeck, Kolmatov and Raymond Ford. Um, and this fight will be for the vacant WBA featherweight title, um, which was given up by Lee Wood after he stopped Josh Warrington um, and moved up in weight. Um, and I believe the Wood versus Warrington fight only came about because um, Matchroom had contacted the WBA and um, had like a special approval to make the Wood versus Warrington fight. Um, and yeah, Kombatov had to wait for his, sh his shot of the title. Um, and yeah, I'm glad he's getting a shot because I followed up to bet Kombatov's career um, pretty much from the beginning. Um, I've seen the vast majority of his fights, um, if not all of them. Um, and yeah, he's someone I rate quite highly. I think he's got a lot of attributes which, you know, I think he'll be a force in the featherweight division. Um, and yeah, it'll, it'll be interesting to see how he does against someone, you know, who's at that world level. Um, and who will really test him um, and he's going in against Raymond Ford who I didn't really know that much about before this fight was um, you know announced um, and I would either look at Raymond Ford's fights um, he is 14-0 with one draw I believe um, one draw against Aaron Perez um, and that was a close fight but I think that could have gone either way to be honest um, I don't think you can argue with a draw um, and he had another controversial fight with Edward Vasquez. Um, Edward Vasquez is a pretty good fighter. Um, he gave Joe Cordina a very tough fight, um, you know, in a fight that could have gone either way. Um, and a lot of people thought thought he beat Raymond Ford, um, but Raymond Ford was able to get the split decision um, and stay undefeated. Um, and the way, the way I would describe Raymond Ford, he's your typical sort of American fighter, American style. Um, he's not the most exciting to be honest he's not someone who I would pay to watch or anything I don't really I'm not that big of a fan of his fighting style um, you know he's, he's, he fights out of that shoulder roll he likes to box from range um, you know he's, he's not that aggressive um, he's not the highest volume fighter he likes to pick his shots um, but he has got some attributes um, he's very athletic he's got very fast hands um, he's able to throw combinations very quickly. Um, he's good at drawing a lead from his opponents and then catching them on the way in with a counter. Um, and yeah, he's definitely got some attributes, which I can see giving Kolmatov some pro some problems. Um, and, you know, I think his hand speed is a, a bit better than Kolmatov's. Um, I think he's a bit more explosive. Um, and I think he's got some, some power as well. He was able to drop Magdaleno a couple of times. Um, and... He was able to stop guys like Reese Bellotti quite early. Um, so he's definitely got some attributes, and I think he's a good fighter. Um, but I think Kolmatov is def. I think he brings some things to the table, which Raymond Ford doesn't. Um, I think Kolmatov might be a bit bigger at the weight than Raymond Ford. Um, even though Raymond Ford was bigger than Magdaleno, um, Magdaleno is a super bantam weight, so, you know, he was moving up, so. Raymond Ford, who's like a natural featherweight, was able to beat him. You know, he was just a lot bigger in the ring. Um, but if you saw Kombatov's last fight against Thomas Patrick Ward, um, Thomas Patrick Ward was also a super bantamweight um, who moved up, but Kombatov was massive compared to him. Um, and he was just able to walk through him, to be honest. I mean, it was just, you know, the size difference and the difference in power and strength was just evident, and uh, Kombatov was able to just walk straight through him. Um, and I think Kometov might be a bit bigger. I think he's a bit better coming forward um, when he applies pressure. I've never really seen Raymond Ford be like a pressure fighter in his fights like Kometov has been. Um, Kometov is a guy who can fight outside or on the inside. Um, he can come forward or he can just box on the back foot. He's quite versatile. Um, and he's got very good footwork. He's got very good boxing skills. Um, he's very heavy-handed. I believe his, only one of his fights has gone the distance against Gregorian. Um, and, yeah, I think he's definitely a lot more versatile than Raymond Ford. He can fight inside or outside. Um, and he's definitely the biggest, bigger puncher in this fight. Um, and I'd say boxing skills um, in this fight, I'd say they're probably about even. Um, maybe Komatov has a slight edge. Um, I definitely think Komatov has the higher volume. Um, Raymond Ford's a guy who likes to pick his shots. Um, he'll really pick his moments when to attack. He wants to be as accurate as possible. 
Um, and I think Kolmatov is just a guy who, you know, he's more willing to consistently pump out the jab. Um, and he's definitely more willing to throw combinations of power shots. Um, and he's a guy who takes a lot more risks, I believe, in, in his fights. Um, and I think he might bring a bit too much for, to the table for Raymond Ford. Um, if you look at his fight like against um, Gregorian, for example, he pretty much stayed on the back foot that whole fight um, when he went 12 rounds. Um, I think he could probably do the same to Raymond Ford. I think the fight would be close if he did that. Um, I think he could compete with Raymond Ford in like a boxing match. Um, even though Ford's got that hand speed advantage, I think Komatov might outwork him a bit. Um, and, you know, if, if Raymond Ford is able to, you know, get the lead in the fight, he's able to win most of the rounds, then Komatov could completely change up his strategy and come forward on the front foot. Um, and I think he could just put on the pressure and start landing, like, crisp shots to the body and head. Um, because he can really punch when he turns on, you know, when he comes forward, I um, mean, he throws power shots, he can really punch. Um, as he, and, you know, as he showed against Thomas Patrick Ward. Um, and I think the difference in this fight will be versatility. Um, and it depends on the way Komatov fights. Um, if he tries to outbox Raymond Ford, I think he'll make the fight fairly close. If he just sort of stays on the, on the outside for 12 rounds, um, I think Ford could win the rounds. But I would still probably favour Komatov just on work rate. Um, and I think Komatov might have the better footwork here. Um, he's, he's from that sort of Central Asian school of boxing um, where all those guys pretty much have good footwork um, they're very fluid on their feet move very um, you know they have very good movement um, and I think you know he I think he might have a reach advantage as well um, even though I can't find um, height and reach on um, the internet I think I think BoxRec li lists both guys at 5 foot 7 um, but there's no reach but I think Komatov might have a slightly longer reach. Um, I think if Komatov chose to box Raymond Ford, I think he could win that way, um, just on his superior volume. Um, and I think it would be a bit more risky for him to go, go forward on the front foot. Um, but don't get me wrong, I think he could win that way. Um, but I think he would have to be quite careful because of Raymond Ford's um, hand speed. Um, and he's quite explosive when he throws his shots. I think he would have to be careful not to get caught on the way in. Um, because Komatov sometimes is a bit... He's a bit lax defensively. Um, Thomas Patrick Ward was able to tag him quite a lot in their fight. Um, Gregorian was able to tag him quite a lot. Um, and when Komatov is sort of at close range, sometimes he does, he does get hit a lot um, in his fights. Um, so... I think Komatov should probably mix up the two. Um, I think he should pick his moments to box, and I think he should pick his moments when to attack and pressure on the front foot. Um, and I think his versatility might be a bit too much for Raymond Ford. Um, and I think Komatov, by a, a clear decision, is the most likely outcome. Um, don't get me wrong, a stoppage is possible. Um, Komatov is a very big puncher. Um, and we don't really know what Raymond Ford's chin is like. Um, he's never really been chin checked by a um, a big puncher before. Um, so, you know, we don't know. I definitely think Raymond Ford will have his moments in this fight. Um, I think, you know, his fast explosive shots. Um, you know, he'll catch Komatov and he'll definitely win some rounds. Um, I wouldn't necessarily be surprised if, you know, he buzzed Komatov at one point in the, in the fight. Um, you know, maybe early in the fight when Komatov is sort of still trying to adjust to his speed. Um, I wouldn't be surprised at all if he, um, you know, buzzed him. Um, but I think, I think from what I've seen, I think Komatov's work rate might get the better of Raymond Ford. You know, as I've said, Raymond Ford's a guy who likes to pick his shots. Um, whereas Komatov is definitely a lot more eager to open up. Um, and I think Komatov by... A clear like 8-4 decision maybe something like that I think he'll definitely win the fight on points or late stoppage um, but yeah I think I think 
Komatov will win the fight by a fairly close decision, but I think it'll be, you know, a clear winner. Um, so yeah, that's how I see this fight. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments, and yeah, thanks for watching. God bless.